Hey everyone, Tragic here with PackBot to do the patron rewards video for December and January. Thank you so much for being patient. Um, my patrons, I wanted to wait until Theros Beyond Death came out so I could uh, have that to open for you guys. Um, so without further ado, let's first open up. I guess it's still further to do. Um, I uh, have actually been sick, so I missed out on the pre-releases and I was just able to pick up my box after the pre-release time. So here's my pre-release uh, bio box special and they actually, uh, the inside of here I think is a non-foil but I did get a foil swamp here. And inside here should be an Athreos and first come first serve, oh there's no code in here, what was I thinking? There's an Athreos Shroud Veiled which will uh, probably end up in one of my uh, the patron loot boxes. What's a patron loot box you ask? Watch this. So a quick intro for the loot box which is a reward of the 15 and 20 dollar level of my Patreon. Uh, after four months at those levels you're gonna receive from me a loot box full of stuff that you might find um, when you watch my videos. It's a bunch of random bulk and some nice boxes that you can put your cards in and this box too um, but inserted into it uh, is going to be some interesting fun stuff to find as you go through so get out your scanners and take a look not everything's going to be great but in here are just some fun things like emblems and tokens and planeswalkers and rares um, some good playable commons and uncommons snow covered full art lands thought erasures foil cards so just my way of uh, giving back and saying thanks um, to you, the patrons. If you're interested, take a look at my patron, Patreon page. And if you're only if you're able to, and if you're interested, take a look. Um, there is a bit of value in these. Um, it's my way of giving back and saying thanks. And hopefully you just have a lot of fun uh, uh, going through the box and having the experience and hopefully getting a thrill of finding some good little things. Uh, no, there's not going to be any black lotuses in here, I'm sorry, uh, but you may find some pretty decent stuff inserted throughout. So again, take a look and see if you're interested and appreciate your, pa your potential patronage. That's what it is. So there you go, this Athreos is very much the kind of thing that might be in uh, one of those boxes. So if you're interested, check out my Patreon page for more information. And now, without further ado, I'll start opening packs. The first one is going to go to Steve O. And he's on the $20 level and he's going to get two, uh, I'm sorry, four standard packs. And this time around it's going to be, from Packbot here, two packs of Throne of Eldraine, two packs of Theros Beyond Death, and for the non-standard pack, um, usually I'll do, I'll, I'll either do one kind of big pack or two relatively not as big packs. And today is gonna be a little bit less. Avacyn Restored is a great set. Uh, monetarily wise, a pack of this is not quite to the level where I would like it to be to give to the patrons. So I'm gonna double down basically we're gonna do two we got two white packs here Avacyn Restored and Dominaria is what all of the patrons on the non-standard packs level are going to get today so here we go Steve-O these are your packs throw those to the back so we start with Theros let's do it um, I've been starting to mess around with this set on Arena we're gonna kind of skip through the commons I know we got a lot of time to go through um, all of these packs for everybody. Got an Archon of Sun's Grace for your rare. Okay, so I'm just going to send you the uh, rares and uncommons. Um, and sure, why not? That, that full art land, whether you want it or not. So these are regular packs. I think they're not the Japanese style, right? So um, skipping the commons. I don't know if there's really anything big. The Chimera, the Underworld Dreams. Prophecy and a Storm Herald. And there's a foil, you'll get that too. And then a Plains, and you can even have a token. Uh, the Throne of Eldraine packs for Stevo. 
Let's see, oops, yep, yep, yep. Still trying to figure this whole thing out. Uncommon's drowning in the lock, very good uncommon. A claim contender, a little knight grabber, and a boar token. I'll give you all that stuff. <clears throat> And again, I apologize for my voice because I have been sick and my voice has not quite come back yet. What's this? Ooh, a Falmire Knight. Very nice. And a Gilded Goose. That's a solid one. A Foil Eye Collector. And a Dwarf Token. All right, next up for the non standard packs, we got a pack of Dominaria. Let's see how you do here. Common, 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 uncommon. Vandalist Marshall is your rare, and a Yargle is another uncommon. There we go. Uh, Avison restored, so good luck, Steve O. Ooh, man. Packs are getting old here. 2012, it says. I believe that was eight years ago. So let's see. Kind of look at the commons a little bit. I don't know if there's really anything big from this set. Doesn't look like a human frailty, builder's blessing, vanishing stroke, and a wild defiance for the rare and the zombie token. So there you go, Steve O. First patron packs away. Coming to you soon. Okay, next up is Andrew Bloomberg. Two Throne of Eldrain. Two Theros Beyond Death. Avicen and the Dominaria. There we go. Okay. Good luck, Andrew. Got a Renata and a Protean Thaumaturge. Very nice. And a Foil Whirlwood Denial. There you go. Looking for big mythics out of this set. Oops, there's uncommons. Temple of Enlightenment, all right. Oh, and a foil, Kunaros, Hound of Athreos. There's a good one right there. Foil rare, very nice. All right, throne packs. Skip, 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 skip. Keeper of Fables into the story. Oathsworn Knight is the rare. And a food token? Sure, why not? Pile management, you know, it's not my strong suit here. Cat. Rider, a Grum Gully, and a Black Lance Paragon. Okay. Dominaria pack. Still some pretty good cards in this set. Very playable in Pioneer. Oh, let's see. Hinterland Harbor. It's a very good usable land right there. A Nightmare Horror. Awesome. <coughs> Pardon me, Avacyn restored. I'm trying to still get over this. My voice is like messed up this whole time, so that's how it goes, apparently. Let's see. A devil prowess, howl guys, defy death, and a wolf here, silver heart. There you go. Okay. All right. Andrew Bloomberg, there's your stuff. Okay, next up is Tanner Mounts. Oop, yep, two Throne of Eldraine. Come on, Packbot. Get these easier. Okay, two Theros. Avacyn and Dominaria, here we go. All right, good luck, Tanner. A 
Elspeth's Nightmare Uncommon. Very cool. Phyrexians are going to be coming back. Hero of the Nyxborn, Stinging Lionfish, and an Eidolon of Obstruction, and a Foil Dream Shaper Shaman, and a Forest. Okay. Okay. Common, common, common. Haven. A spinner. I love this card. I actually really am a big fan of the enchantments this time around. Nylea's Intervention. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Ooh, and a cool Kraken token. It's got hexproof. It's awesome. Uh, Throne of Eldraine. go somewhat quickly. I got a lot of cards to open here. Animating Fairy, Order of Midnight, Opportunistic Dragon. Very nice. And a rat. Secret Keeper. We've got a Shine Ch Chaser. A Smasher. Ferocity and Ear and Crag Feet is the rare. Alright. Okay, Dominaria. Let me make sure I'm on camera this whole time, right? Oops. Uncommon cast down. Sanctum Spirit. Is that a Planeswalker? Oh, is that Teferi? Hero of Dominaria. Congratulations, Tanner. That's a good pull right there. And you got a slime foot too. Awesome. Still a pretty darn good card right there. Okay, cool. Sure. I like tokens. I hope you like tokens too. Alright, Avacyn Restored. commons in this set so we're gonna skip those familiar a chaplain and a vampire and a harvester of souls all right there you go well it's a fairy's a great hit so congratulations Tanner headed your way next up is James Gilbreth two I'm sorry four standard packs And two of those. All right, here we go. Okay, Theros. Nyad. Calafi. One with the stars. Hero of the Winds. Treacherous Blessing. Draw some cards. Lose some life. Sacrifice this thing. There it is. <clears throat> Drag to the Underworld, the Lantern Guide. Timoret, Chosen from Death, so there's a Constellation version. Uh, looks awesome. Looks awesome. So the foils probably look really good on those too. And a Storm's Wrath. Oh, you got a foil Ichthyomorphosis. Did I say that right? I'm gonna say I did. You can let me know. And an island. And a reflection token. I'm so sad. My reflection. Okay. Throne of Bell's Rain. Gosh. Pack like full apart. Elite Headhunter. Better than the regular Headhunters, right? Clockwork Servant. Burning Yard Trainer. And a Doom Foretold. Good card. I hate playing against it. Honestly, you can usually outpace it. Throne of Eldraine. Pack number two. Deafening Silence. Order of Midnight. Okame Adversary. And a Questing Beast. That's a hit. Uh, I absolutely love this card. My favorite thing to do with this is to throw a Spark Double on it and then quasi duplicate that and smash you for like 15 on turn five or so three or four if you can really 
um, get the right uh, ramp. So excellent, excellent hit right there. Dominaria. Uh, let's see, Goblin War Chief, Memorial to War. Thran Temporal Gateway is the rare. Um, and a Baird Steward of Argive. So it's like a Quicksilver Amulet, but for historic permanent cards. This probably got some possibilities, right? Uh, let's see, Uncommons. And a Sapperling token. Okay, Avacyn Restored. Pack. Get a Crater Hoof Behemoth to go with your Questing Beast. Now that would be amazing. <clears throat> Let's see. Holy Justicar. Archangel. Falcon Wrath Exterminator. And a Dark Imposter. Okay. And a Spirit Token. So there you go, James. Questing Beast is an absolute hit right there. And they're on the way. Okay, next up is Elric Chernovkov. Oh, that one started ripping already. Avacyn and a Dominaria. Here we go. Yeah, Packbot had a good hold on these. Okay, right to the uncommon staggering insight. Caliphy again. Siona. And a Shadow Spear. There's a good one. This thing is nuts. Quick creature gets 1 1, has trample and lifelink. Permanence your opponent's control. You can make them lose. Hexproof and indestructible. Excellent. And there's a Riptide Turtle. He's <laughs> pretty cool. And a Forest and a Satyr. Cut. Next up. All right, set to sin petitioner, cling to dust, rise to glory, and a labyrinth of Skophos. This card's annoying, I'm just gonna say it. It's like a uh, maze of ith, basically, right? Um, it's annoying to play against anyway, we'll put it that way. Good for you if you got it. All right, Throne of Eldraine packs. Uh, animating fairy, a bog naughty, got a foil, got a Kenrith's transformation, and a once upon a time, unfortunately now banned, in uh, standard and um, modern too, I think at this point, I'm not sure. Garenbrig Squire, uh, but it is a good card, right? There's a giant token. Cool. Next up. Once in future, Sirkara, Mysterious Pathlighter, and a Fires of Invention. This card's amazing. Lee Broken, I guess you might say. I don't know, I mean, you're limited to two spells a turn, but boy, what you can do with those two spells, right? Sir Eleonora, the Foiling. There you go. Dominaria. <clears throat> Uh, let's see, uh, yep, Uncommon, Spore Swarm, Wizard's Lightning, Wild Onslaught, you got a Foil Syncopate, and a Tishar, Ancestor's Apostle, there it is, and a Goblin Token. Alright, lastly, a pack of Avacyn for Elric. Oop, yep, get right to the uncommons, a vessel, rush of blood, stern mentor, and an alchemist refuge. There you go. Okay, Elric. Thank you very much. There you go.